is Newsbeat. Now, if you've been watching the football recently, you might have noticed there's been a few unexpected stoppages, not VAR, but protesters running onto the pitch and tying or gluing themselves to goalposts. Kat Collins has this. We first saw it at a game on Wednesday. The scene of Mo Salah in attack. Arsenal are at home to Liverpool in the Premier League. When midway through the second half, this happened. And uh, I think he's handcuffed himself to the post. Yeah. That protester, 20-year-old Kai, was removed by the stewards. The following day, it happened again. Hi, Newsbeat. This is Louis. On a Thursday, I zip-tied my neck to a football post. You might have seen the pictures and videos by now. Louis in his orange T-shirt and his neck attached tightly to the goalpost. He was there for almost seven minutes. I tied my neck to a goalpost because I'm terrified for my generation's future. We have no other choice than to stand up in civil resistance. And if we don't, don't do it, no one else will. The group he's part of, Just Stop Oil, says it wants action in the short and long term to reduce demand for fossil fuel energy. Instead, they want more focus on green energy and measures like home insulation and renewable energies to help deal with climate change. Protesters also targeted Wolves versus Leeds. It left some fans frustrated after the game was delayed. My message to the fans, whose match I disrupted, I'm sorry I had to do whatever was necessary, but people aren't listening. That has to change if you want to survive. I wasn't doing this for selfish reasons. I was doing this for every one of you in the stands. It's your life too. Louis even says he's had death threats since that game. Yeah, it's the most scary thing I've ever done. Not even close. Walking into that stand, standing in that crowd, feeling the energy of these people, knowing that this is their passion and I'm about to disrupt it. And I hate that. And I know that when you disrupt a large crowd, often they don't like you. I had several jump out of the crowd and try to attack me. One was successful. I had dozens and dozens of projectiles thrown at me and now I honestly can say I don't feel safe ever returning to Liverpool because of the hundreds and hundreds of death threats I've got via social media. But the others have praised him. Gary Lineker said on Twitter, whether you approve of this young man's methods or not, he's right, his future is perilous, desperate times and all that. Absolutely could give me a criminal record which could affect future employment. That scares me a hell of a lot less than the climate crisis. Newsbeat.